Hello best friend and a welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Girl, if this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So girl, listen, if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. So why don't you grab a snack and a drink and hit that subscribe button. I would be truly grateful. You guys, we got to talk. Happy October first by the way i hope that today is an incredible day i hope that the beginning of the month is fabulous for you and i hope you know how grateful i am for you so settle in grab a snack and a drink because we got to talk about this courtney kardashian and kim kardashian mess um so if you guys don't know the premiere of the kardashian season four aired uh on hulu like this week and we made we already talked about what happened that phone call between Kim and Courtney, but I'll give you a little bit of like a refresher, okay? So basically, Kim Kardashian called Courtney Kardashian to tell her that you know she wasn't trying to copy her wedding, but then she realized that Courtney Kardashian was actually not feeling her because Courtney Kardashian has expressed in the past that she is not feeling Kim Kardashian, that she feels like Kim Kardashian is a narcissist, and that she feels like Kim Kardashian only cares about herself and she wants no part of that mess because she's trying to live a happy, healthy, safe, and peaceful life. Okay, and Kim Kardashian had the nerve to tell her her that she is actually uh her and and chloe and kendall and kylie are actually in a group chat titled not courtney where they talk about courtney and try to decipher what is actually going on with courtney and then kim kardashian says to uh, courtney that all of courtney's friends are actually always very concerned for her and they go to her to ask her what's going on with courtney and that even her children go to kim and tell her all the problems they have with courtney allegedly so that's that's a little bit of the update and then Kourtney Kardashian says you're a witch and I hate you anyways <laughs> how about that update um so Kourtney Kardashian is having the last laugh because she post she posted a group chat as you guys can see here and it's with all of her friends okay so her friends uh, I'm gonna read you guys so this is uh how it goes so uh, Ali Rizzo Sart Tino says, should I soft it launch? Should I soft launch the Yas Courtney group chat? And then Simon, which is one of Courtney's best friends, says, Oh my god, please, these trolls keep DMing me, be accusing me of being on the other chat, which is the alleged one that Kim Kardashian said that all of Courtney's friends, you know, have with her. And then um the other friend said, I'm like, if only they knew our anxiety about meaningless, endless chit chat. I mean, over a martini, we will debrief, but dang, for a group chat that, that didn't exist, I am fidgeting. And then Simon, the best friend, says, Kim threw us all under the bus when we're... The, wh <laughs> Girl, I can't read it so early. Kim threw us all under the bus when there was not one actual friend on that chat. So basically, they're calling uh, Kim Kardashian a liar for allegedly saying, you know, well, not allegedly, she did say that there was like a group chat and that her, Courtney's friends reach out to her all the time and ask like, what's going on with Courtney? Why is, you know, is she okay? Like, she's so mean and angry, whatever. So then Courtney, she actually posts that because she is literally, you guys, Kourtney Kardashian is like savage lately. So then a fan um, comments and says to Kourtney and says, are you not, are you in the not Kourtney group text with Kim? So this is the, the, the message. And then Kourtney responds and says, I believe it was just my sisters from the surveys I've been taking. Um, and then another fan says, are those friends on the not Kourtney group chat? Cause if so, we don't need them there. They are referring to that group chat that Courtney posted with Simon and her friend. And then Courtney responded and said, no, the members of that chat are namely Kim, Chloe, Kendall, and Kylie. Case closed. So I thought that was actually super genius because one thing about this whole situation that I really did not like was when Kim Kardashian was like, Kim Kardashian, she was like, um, even your children come to me because they have so many problems with you. Like, I felt like that was such like a backstabbing move. Like, you don't air, I, I get it, you're on a reality show and stuff, but like, 
I feel like that is just such a low blow you do not do to your sister. Like, involving the children, I think that's where, you know, Kim Kardashian should draw the line. And I know that they are trying to sum up some drama for the, 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 the reality show because lately it's just been giving, like, you know, Law & Order boredom. No offense if you love Law & Order. I just, I can't with those crime shows, bitch. Who watches? Listen, I know two people, my mother and best friend, they watch, like, these crazy-ass crime shows right before bed. And I'm like... How the fuck are you watching this? Like, um, Shirley was only 27 when she was decapitated by her husband. This is her story. Are you kidding me? Like, I have to watch, like, the fucking Care Bears. I have to watch, like, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I have to watch, like, you know, fucking The Nanny, Winnie the Pooh, like, the Little Mermaid cartoon series. Like, I need, like, to go into, like, a happy place, bitch, because, like, seriously, like, a family of five was burned alive because the ex-nanny was mad she got fired and was secretly sleeping with the father. Like, are you insane? Like, you know, um, Jacob Smith has been missing for 46 days he was finally found uh boneless in a fucking well like i i, I don't understand how how people do that i don't know how i got here how did i get here bitch how did i get here how do i manage to get to these places anyways um I don't know what the fuck I was saying bitch i have no idea what i was saying before i went into all of this detail uh let me think bitch let me think how did i get here kim the reality show. Oh, Law and Order. Okay, Ooh, I had to uh, retrace my steps or whatever the fuck it's called. So you know, I I think it's, it was just like a nasty move, and and I get it. Like I said, they're trying to make the reality show happen. They're trying to you know make it interesting. They're trying to you know bring in the drama. But I just feel like Courtney, she keeps saying how over she is of the reality show. She keeps saying how done she is, how she doesn't like her sisters, how she allegedly hates her sisters. Well, then literally don't be in it. You know, like I actually feel like you probably have enough money. You do not need, you know, this this money. I'm sure it's contracts involved. You know, alleged, I think they signed like a hundred million dollar deal for this Hulu show. So I just, I, I don't know. I feel like I would not, I mean, if I were already super, super rich, I don't know if I would keep on like, you know, playing with my mental health that day and uh, uh, that way. And also like jeopardizing what's left of our family dynamic and unit and bond. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. But anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, we are packing now because we are going back to Tokyo. We are in... Um, Osaka. Um, I absolutely loved, uh, I loved Kyoto a little bit more. I just feel like Osaka is very much like very busy city and Kyoto was like kind of city-ish, but not really. Um, the food here has been great. I've had a lot of like these stir fried noodles and oh bitch, when I tell you they're so delicious, but you know what's so funny? I can't find a grocery store. Like, I, I've been, we've been here now for, like, what, a week and, and a half or something? I have not seen my first grocery store. I've seen, like, a lot of convenience stores, 7-Elevens, you know, but I've not seen the first, like, you know, like, Publix or Ralph's or, or, or you know, like, a grocery store. And I'm dying to go to a grocery store because I, I, I love buying, like, you know, sauces and, like, things to take back. So, if you know any grocery stores in Tokyo, let me know because, girl, I can't find any. Um, but other than that, it's just been such a, I, you know, I feel like very honored to be here. There's just so much respect for the culture, um, the, the traditions and just the, the history. I just absolutely love it. But anyways, I love you all very much. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.